Yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, today we have Chris Brown sliding into DMs. We got Kid Cudi records Kanye, Trippy Red loses a friend, Tory Lanez with the apologies, versus battle clap from Tamia and 6 9 previews a new song for Friday again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, grab a seat, relax. We ain't gonna be before you too long. Much love to Chirac Overlord for seeing us in the comments. Salute. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and touch that like button if you bout about it. For real, for real. Now, Chris Brown takes our top spot for today when he hopped in to the DMs of another man. Ladies are like, say it ain't so, Celeb. Fellas are like, well, there you go. Another man down. No, no, calm down. The man is married. Folks are like, oh my goodness, that's not enough to settle your spirit. Well, get this. The man is none other than Mr. President himself, Barack Obama. Yes, Chris Brown direct message, the ex-president of the United States asking for him to get behind a revolutionary march of sorts. And the beauty of the request is that Chris Brown asked him on the humble. It was kind of cool to say the least. Chris Brown went on social media to say the following quote, let's set up a march for change. The whole world will be behind you. Facts, Barack. I I'm sorry, M Mr. President. I don't know you personally, he says, but we have the same heart, brain, and power to change the world for the better. Eh, I mean, I know what you meant, Breezy. No publicity stunts, a real march. We have to start a smart, loving, compassionate revolution. Close quote. Chris, something tells me if Mr. President wasn't behind it, but merely gave his blessing, it would still spark an absurd amount of change. Now, Breezy added a caption with his post saying, quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Close quote. Okay, Chris Breezy with the inspirational. Now, he says, I'm striving for real peace, real understanding. This DM may go unnoticed, but I want us all to be able to shift the balance with so much love that no one's life is useless or looked over. In parentheses, ignored. Hashtag BLM. Close quote. See, I'm feeling the humanity, the, the humility in that post. And I feel like even if Mr. President doesn't give a response, you most likely will have his blessing. So get that joint started. I'm sure it will be a smash. Kid Cudi pulls a move with Kanye West. And if you tried it 10 years ago, you might get the pause put on you. And a 10 minute rant, mind you. Kid Cudi and Ye are working together in a new Kid See Ghost animated series and decided to get some downtime with the artists while they strategize. But what does Ye do for some downtime? Well, I'm glad you asked. Evidently, it's playing some Sonic the Hedgehog, the old school version. Kid Cudi was speaking with Kanye while Ye was playing Sonic when he mentioned that the character was one of his son's favorite video game characters. Aww. The clip shows a relaxed Kanye killing a game, Sonic the Hedgehog game, that is, and there's a simplicity to the clip and an innocence that brought a brother back to the old days when things were simpler. Then I look back on my phone and COVID-19 numbers are jumping up because folks can't stay out of each other's faces. Ridiculous. This is my son's favorite character, Sonic. A word? Yeah. But you know, like that Kizzy Ghost, that video game, that's forever, like some Sonic stuff. Like we can go from starting with that, to video games, to movies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, the, the animation style is so dope. It's ridiculous, right? Yeah. <laughs> it just carries character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was out of rings. <laughs> Just when I thought I had a moment. Now, 
in some sad news because broken friendships are sad. Trippy Red has had a falling out with a longtime buddy, Pierre Bourne. Evidently, Trippy stated on social media that a producer slash engineer he was cool with has suddenly decided to charge him $80,000 for a beat. Now, two things. One, we, Celeb Source, the team, will get you a beat, Trippy. We will make you a beat worth 80K and hit you in the head with a discount, my guy. 20K. No, we won't even knock off 20K. We knock off 60K for you, partner. 20K for the beat. And we could be a better friend. Well, not sure a brother needs new friends right now, anyhow, but you think I'm playing. Celeb Source got beats, bruh. That's one. Now, two, I'm not sure y'all was all that tight to begin with. And D, social media, bruh, that might have been a better, that might have been better addressed on the low, my guy. Anyhow, Trippy posted the following, quote, brothers always forget where they came from. This is on live, mind you, he's saying this. I remember when peoples were just engineering in the studio, living out the studio and hoping peoples gave him a shot type ish. It's crazy cause I so happened to be the brother that gave the brother a shot. Folks forget where they came from and wanna charge their homies 80K for beats now. You cats is crazy. A trippy, that might be putting it mildly. When I catch you peoples in person, it's gonna be some other things. Whoa, whoa, bro. On live? Tory Lane's the first person to win an award in the R&B category and the hip hop category on the same night at the Juno Awards, which is the Canadian Grammys, has found himself in the doghouse at the dollhouse. In the doghouse at the dollhouse. When he accidentally liked a post that took a shot at Nicki Minaj stating that Cardi B, the natural beauty, what's up naturally beautiful, 52, would never find herself in Nicki Minaj's position. Which position you ask? The position where a number one song drops to a number 34 song. Tory Lane stated that he was merely scrolling up on his phone when his finger accidentally hit the like button and upon hitting the like button, his hairline was ferociously attacked by the Barbies. Tori stated the following, quote, Nicki Minaj is my favorite female rapper. I don't know what y'all trying to do this morning. I made an honest mistake on a touch screen phone. Anytime I've had an issue, y'all know me for being vocal. I wouldn't go like a random tweet, nor use my platform to insult the queen. And to think, my blunt was about to be so peaceful this morning. Close quote. Well, the Barbies was on some, well, well, watch them fat fingers next time, homie, and give me that blunt, snatching it out of his mouth, ashes on his pajamas. Now, the versus fairy has granted us another battle, or versus, if you will, and this time it was Fabulous versus Jadakiss. Now, both artists went through each of their hits, which was celebrated, which was all good, of course. Now, Fabulous proceeded to go into a story about the song So Into You and how it was supposed to have featured Tamia, but due to her undergoing throat surgery, throat surgery, that's crazy, the later version featured Ashanti. He stated, quote, there's a lot of, there was a lot of back and forth about how there was Tamia and Ashanti. Tamia is who the original song came from. Tamia was getting surgery on her throat at the time when we did the song. So we got Ashanti to do the song because Tamia was getting, and then we did the video, she was back. She got her ish back together. We laid the vocals after her throat surgery, close quote. Curious story, I mean, stuff happens, right? Until, of course, Tamia posts a pic on Twitter of her albums along with the caption that said, quote, 25 years, eight albums, zero throat surgeries. Okay, eyebrows raise, the camera pans back to Fab and nothing. Now, finally, 
Following his massive fall from the top spot on the billboards, 6 9 teases his next number one song, which will be a Spanish song, and it sounds a bit like reggaeton. Reggaeton? Re reggaeton? I if I heard it correctly. He posted a clip of his next number one hit. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be number one. That's what he's going to say. Yaya. Yeah, yeah. All while getting a lap dance of sorts while spitting his lines. Now, fan or no fan, I don't know what he's saying in the song, but this one might actually get some traction. I mean, like, I think it'll I'll actually hear it on the radio. Now, I could be wrong, and if I am, I'm cool with that. I can't be perfect all the time. Listen, the melody of what I heard, the short snippet, may stay on the charts. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Friday, I know you're marking it down on your calendars right now. <laughs> Let us know what you think. In fact, could 6ix9ine secure the hot spot once again, even if he pulls off a hot song, or is he permanently blackballed by the radios and everyone else? And who's trying to get these hot beats for 20K from Celeb Source? Hit us up. I ain't playing, man. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.